Welcome to Chorus Stories. Are you ready to meditate with Cory? Hi friend, don't forget to subscribe, say that you like the video, and also press the bell so that you get notifications every time I make a new video. If you love Heidi, Cherry, and Vea, or Tucker and Leo stories, you can now get exclusive stories on my Patreon account. Go to the links below the video and you can join Heidi Cherry and Vea Club or the Tucker and Leo Club and get exclusive stories with your names in them. I love you all so much. Enjoy the story. Bye, friend. Are you ready? To meditate with Kari. Make sure that you're laying in your bed and you're very, very comfortable. Try not to move or wiggle too much. Be still and quiet and hopefully fall fast asleep. Lee was a caterpillar. He was small, chubby, and very hairy. There's nothing wrong with any of those qualities when you're a caterpillar. But Lee didn't want to be a caterpillar anymore. He'd seen his older siblings grow up and change. His mom was beautiful and he loved all of her perfect colors, delicate butterfly wings. His dad was glorious and majestic. He was everything he wanted to be. And he was just a grubby little caterpillar. That's what he thought. Day after day, he would get out his journal and write down all of his dreams and aspirations. All of the things he was going to be when he changed. It was all big, big dreams. He was going to fly to the furthest, furthest tree. He was going to touch the tallest, tallest cloud. He was going to fly in the busiest, strongest, heaviest rainstorm. He was going to fly when lightning and thunder was in the sky. He wanted to fly over the ocean. He wanted to land on someone's toes on the beach. He wanted so many things. He expressed himself daily in his journal. When I get my wings, I'm going to do this. When I get my wings, life will be like this. When I get my wings, I'll feel complete. When I get my wings, I'll feel confident. When I get my wings, I'll be brave. When I get my wings, I'll be happier. When I get my wings, I won't be as hairy. When I get my wings, when I get my wings. That's how it went. Every single day. And every single day blended into months and months and months. And it felt like he was never, ever going to transform, change into the beautiful, glorious, magnetic butterfly that he knew he was going to be. His mum would tell him every day to be patient, that if you truly believe it, and you see it to be so, then it will happen. His mum was always so confident and comfortable and easy going. She was always smiling, always happy, and her life seemed to go perfectly. He couldn't be easygoing, 
To be honest, he felt desperate. Desperate to change. Desperate to be taller. Desperate to be more magnificent. Desperate to be colorful. Desperate to be that which he was not. Poor Lee spent hours and hours and hours dreaming about how happy he would be, how perfect life would be, how popular he would be, how he would have so many butterfly friends. One day, he was just moving like any caterpillar does across a leaf, having a little snack, when he bumped into a big, white, glorious butterfly. The butterfly was just sat there, as if it was feeling the breeze blowing through its wings, and that's all it had to do that day. Just chilling out, enjoying life, enjoying the tree, enjoying just being. Lee bumped into the butterfly and said sorry, and the butterfly said, no problem. Lee said, how long have you been a butterfly? The butterfly said, as long as I've been a butterfly. Lee said, what do you mean? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, like when did you change from a caterpillar to a butterfly? Lee said, I've been a caterpillar for all my life now and it's so boring. I mean, look at me. What do caterpillars do? They're not impressive at all. I mean, I'm hairy, I'm chubby, and I'm small. Big wow. The butterfly smiled. Like I said, I've been a butterfly as long as I've been a butterfly. Lee decided to let it go because it didn't make sense to him and he wasn't in any kind of mood to try and figure out some kind of wild, wisdom-filled quote or theory. He sat next to the butterfly and didn't say anything and the butterfly said, What's it like being a caterpillar? Lee said, Weren't you listening? I just told you. It's not that great. The butterfly said, oh, oh, that's a shame. I loved being a caterpillar. So many wonderful things about caterpillars. They're just so awesome. I loved every single thing about being a caterpillar. Every day, I enjoyed the leaves. I enjoyed the sun. I enjoyed the community. So many caterpillar friends. I enjoyed how slow life was, how easy life was. Don't get me wrong. I always, always enjoy being a butterfly. But yeah, I enjoyed being a caterpillar. Lee, again, felt a little bit jealous about the fact that someone could get some enjoyment out of being something like him. What was wrong with this butterfly? Lee went quiet again and just sat there for what felt like the longest time. And then the butterfly said, Shall I tell you a secret? Lee said, Go on then. Not very excited about the whole thing because he thought, Oh, is he going to give me another riddle? Another quote? The butterfly said, Instead of Spending all day dreaming about being a butterfly. The magic is when you actually see yourself as a butterfly already. Don't waste your time trying to be something that you think you're always wanting to be. Because whenever you're wanting to be something, it means that you actually aren't that thing. So to be that thing, you have to believe that you are that thing. Yes, 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 I know, don't say it, but I'm a caterpillar. 
I know that. But in your mind, fly through the sky. Feel like you have your wings. In your heart, don't question any of it. Just be the butterfly that you already are. And you will be that butterfly in no time at all. Lee thought about this and didn't say anything. The butterfly added more. Be that which you wish to be, and it will be so. That's universal law. Do not question, do not doubt, do not sway off your mental state of being that majestic butterfly that you know you are. Lee said, Do you mean I have to pretend I'm a butterfly? No, 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 said the butterfly. You are a butterfly. You're not pretending. Don't question how it's going to happen. Don't question when it's going to happen. Don't question who helps you make it happen. Just know and trust in your heart that you are a butterfly. Lee said, But I can't fly. The butterfly said, No, 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 no. Close your eyes. Lee closed his eyes. Now, instead of thinking of the future, flying and doing all the things that you write down in your book, close your eyes and make it as if you're doing it right now. Lee felt himself changing from a caterpillar to a butterfly. He was flying in the rain. There was bolts of lightning flashing through the sky. Thunder so close it was shaking him. He was so amped up. So full of adrenaline he was so excited. He lost all sense of time and space and everything around him, including the white butterfly, disappeared. Every single aspect of Lee was that butterfly. Every cell, every little tiny caterpillar hair, every little bit of his chubby body, every single part of him was no longer he was the butterfly he saw himself to be. He was so happy. So, so happy. Finally, being that what he wished he was. And it was here and it was now and he didn't have to wait. He didn't have to go in a cocoon. He didn't have to stay as a caterpillar for as long as that happened. He didn't have, he didn't have to do any of it. He didn't have to do all of the process because he already was that butterfly. When Lee eventually opened his eyes, the butterfly smiled at him and flew away. Didn't say a word, just flew away. And Lee got it. Lee got the message. Lee got that if he saw himself as that which he wanted to be, then he would already be it. If he felt it, if he smelt it, if he touched it, if he tasted it, if he completely absorbed his mind into that which he was already, then the real time that it took for him to be a caterpillar and to be in his cocoon and to wait and to transform and to eventually one day be that butterfly. It really didn't matter to him at all how long it took because from that moment forward Lee knew that that's who he was. He was already feeling it. He was already doing it. 
He was already talking and acting and being so happy that it didn't matter how long it took because he was happy in the state that he was in right now, in that moment. Lee relaxed. He took it easy. He went with the flow and completely trusted that it would be when it was going to be. Because in his heart, it was already there. In his heart, he was that butterfly. He was everything that he'd ever dreamed of. And he trusted 100 million billion percent that it was going to be so. And therefore, it was already so in his mind. And from that day forward, Lee was a happy caterpillar. Until he changed. And became that that he knew he was. No question. No doubt. A marvellous, breathtaking, splendid, brave, confident, happy butterfly. The end.